new study by Pew Research reveals four in 10 adults believe that we are living in the end times. But who's saying that and why? Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen is live in Israel with more. Daniel, why do people think this? Yeah, I'll I'll tell you in just a second. But first, good morning, Christina, and good morning, everyone. According to a new study focused mostly on Bible-believing Christians in the U.S., 47 percent, almost half, believe the end times are here. Why do they think that? And what does the Bible say about Israel in the final days? Is it just a hunch or is it something more? The end times, or eschatology, as described in the Bible, tends to be seen in Christianity as encompassing a wide range of events. Many, believers say, have already happened, and some that are still to come. There are a few key future events that Christians generally agree on. The return of Jesus, the rapture of the church, and a final judgment for mankind. Right now, according to Pew researchers, almost half of all Christians in the U.S. believe we're on the verge of those events happening. People look around, people are not dumb, they see something's wrong with the world, and they know down deep inside, maybe I ought to go go to the Bible and check it out. Jack Hibbs is the pastor of Calvary Chapel Chino Hills, a megachurch in Southern California with around 12,000 weekly visitors. His messages speak to what the Bible says about every facet of life and death. Satan's losing ground, Christ is coming. He believes we are living in the last days, and doesn't shy away from what the Bible says about end times prophecy. This is the first time in human history where you've got Israel back in the land, you've got wars and rumors of wars being discussed constantly, and you've got the call for a global ecumenical union of religions. Hibbs points to calls from the World Economic Forum for a one-world currency, which is discussed in Revelation. He also points to predictions from Old Testament prophets Isaiah and Ezekiel before Jesus' time on earth thousands of years ago of the nation of Israel being reborn in the final days. Israel's role is absolutely awesome. From Genesis to Revelation, the Bible speaks of one nation that dominates the landscape, and that nation is Israel. And according to the scriptures, In the last days, he's going to reawaken Israel, May 14th, 1948. He said, I'm going to bring them back into their own land after being dispersed for thousands of years. He's done that. Israel is that timepiece. Hibbs admits skeptics may not acknowledge the Bible is God's word. He also says fear post-pandemic with a shaky economy, crime and uncertainty everywhere is driving people to ask questions they may have never asked before in a search for truth. Someone who doesn't believe in the Bible needs to sit up and take notice that everything that is top headline news today is recorded in the ancient Hebrew prophets and reiterated by Jesus Christ. Conclusion, be ready. This is an amazing moment. I pray that nobody misses it. And to make sure you don't miss it, open up your Bible and start reading it. So when will the end times events like the return of Jesus and the rapture take place? The Bible says no one knows an exact time or date, which is why Pastor Hibbs says be prepared. One other fascinating thing about that study I want to pass along, according to Pew, 30 percent of those who believe nothing in particular also believe we're living in the end times. And 29 percent of that group also believe that Jesus will return to Earth someday.